Why hello to YouTubers, gamers, and all you people watching E3. This is Agent 48 here, and I'm bringing you my Sony press conference impressions. Now, the Sony press conference overall was good, I have to admit. It had its awesome points, it had its okay points. The business points as usual, where he would blab around with business stuff, and of course some bad points. Now, the first game they presented was the game Beyond Two Souls. I would now I would love to talk how when I when I first heard the title Beyond it sort of reminded me of those PlayStation 3 commercials when it launched but those commercials were so bad so I won't get into that no no more talking about that but yeah the game was pretty awesome because what it had was the main character played by Ellen Page and her, her acting when they showed her acting obviously they did, like the it was sort of slow to start because it was an introduction to be to be fair like you have a lot of points where you're like, uh, should I talk, should I not? It was quite awkward. Like, you, it's getting to the game, yes, I understand, but it was a little bit too quiet, for my opinion. Like, the game did ramp up, and when it did, it showed off a lot of awesome stuff, especially in the trailer, but what's the, it was just introduction, so I think they could have showed off a better part of the game, but it looks cool so far. And Ellen Page, there's another character later on in the show, which looks like it's a, she was modeled after Ellen Page in The Last of Us, but I'll get to that last. And it was, like I said, the game looks very awesome. The only thing I only gripe I have about it is the fact that the graphics are totally mind blowing. Like, the thing is, what you have to do is you have to focus on the faces because that's what they focus on—the face cam technology. You look on the faces; it looks you look, you say, "Oh, this game is so real." You look at the papers and boxes and wardrobes; you go, "Ew, the graphics suck," or the "Graphics aren't up to par with the faces." That's my only complaint about it. Looks good thus far. Now, the next game, which really caught my attention, not like I already knew about it, but was Sony PlayStation All Stars. A lot of people want to call it Super Smash Bros. Uh, ripoff, but you know, that's it, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Everyone gets the idea right away. You don't you see PlayStation All Stars, people don't know what the hell you're talking about. Super Smash Bros. ripoff for Sony. Everyone gets what the hell you're talking about. So, how was it? You know, for me being a PlayStation fan. When they introduced it, like them playing it, because I already seen it uh, in action, I seen when it was announced, I was hyped like crazy. Like they played this music in the background, and that music in the background was my childhood. It was Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, my most favorite Ratchet and Clank game, very first one too, and they've never matched up to it. It was just like my childhood right there. Not to mention the background had Ratchet and Clank too, with Cork running around and battling the Kraken from. God of War. That was totally awesome. That was, that's what PlayStation. Like I seen it before, but I never heard the music. I just never felt fully immersed in it when I saw it. Now I can see it being good. The only problem with PlayStation All Stars is that it's being released this December. And the thing is, is that they only got eight characters right now. My question is, how many will they have by December? If anything, my personal opinion on it is that Sony is pushing these guys too hard. They do you really want the game to be released in this December? And fine, it's for sales and stuff, but can they just delay the game a bit more? Because it needs some awesome feature which distinguishes it from Super Smash Bros. or else it's gonna get bad reviews, and if it's gonna get bad reviews, even if they make a sequel with these awesome features, it's 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 not gonna have a good reputation. Sony's reputation is gonna be ruined because of it. So it's not so this game's not just about the game itself, but it's all about Sony's reputation. Anyways, moving on about that uh, is the Vita stuff. They, other than present uh, business stuff they had, they had some nice Vita announcements like the two new games coming to the Vita, which is Assassin's Creed 3, not the same Assassin's Creed, but a different one with a different story and different character, and of course Black Ops coming to the Vita. Now that is awesome for the Vita because its sales are lacking right now. I, I mean like obviously because not much games has been released on it but the fact is not much people have bought the Vita and hopefully this will help the Vita get out of its slump because if it's going to continue at this rate it's going to need a price cut and if the price cut can't help it get out of this rate then the Vita is pretty much dead. So hopefully these two awesome games will help it go out of its slump. Now the next thing it was what I call the bad moment in all of it was the Wonder Book. I'll be honest here, the Wonder Book looks like an okay technology. It's using places to move. I'm not into motion technology. I'm I'm honestly against it. But the thing is, is that I can see people in my family 
and one or two friends buying it. Like, just buying off the bat just because they saw it and they go all the way to like, Oh, it's Harry Potter! Because I showed Harry Potter for it. My question is Sony, for them. Do PS3 owners look like Harry Potter fans? Because they spent a good chunk of our conference just talking about it. That's money grab about it. It's, if they wanted to show it off, show it off five minutes, we're done. And that's what I wanted, but they spent the whole 20 minutes. Which could have been something else and awesome. Ignoring that uh, bad point, we went to God of War. Now, God of War, I have not played others. It does look toned down a bit, honestly. I, I'll be honest. It does look... It, it looks like other God of Wars, which is good. But, yeah, like I said, it's toned down. Like I don't see those brutal execution moves on the enemies. And when he does it, it doesn't look brutal enough. But surely enough, in the end, he did show a brutal execution, ripping an elephant's head in half and showing its brain, and then he went off to fight the Kraken. So that, I'm quite sure that was good. Now finally, moving on to the last game, The Last of Us. Sorry for, that's no pun intended there. But it looked very awesome for what it is. Like, a lot of people complained about how slow it was, how it didn't look amazing. The fact is, the game's all about immersion, and if you can't imagine yourself playing it, or if you hate single player stories because you're just a multiplayer freak just going like, oh, kill streak, kill streak, kill streak, then yeah, of course you won't be immersed by it. You won't say it's awesome. But what it had was survival elements like in it. Like the fact you have a health bar, doesn't regen. And the fact that you had ammo for a gun, which was scarce. It was like, there's literally the moment in the trailer, in the game where it's like, you shoot your gun, but it's clicking. And then the, and then the enemy reacts, like, ha, I know that sound. I got a gun and I'm going to kill you with it. But fortunately, you have your buddy who is smart. And uh, the, the girl, sorry, I forgot her name. The only question about the game is how much scripted is it? How, how linear is it? Because if, let's say, you didn't run out of ammo there, would you keep shooting there? Would you fight each other? Like if and 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 if you wanted her help, how when does she help? Does she help on her own, or do you have to call her? That's my question about the game, and that's the only thing that's really uh well bothering me about it. Other than that, looks awesome. I I may consider buying it because honestly, I got a lot of other games to buy, but I know it can be game the year quality stuff. Just I don't I just don't know if it's my type of game. So that's all for the Sony press conference. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, of course, do check out my other two impressions of the other two conferences.